the activity topology is, is two there are two distinctions in that one is the physical topology and the other one is the logical topology okay now see physical topology is something that we can see and that is something that you did last time last time what we did is we said that we've got multiple locations let's say we've got a mumbai location and we've got a Delhi location and we have got some DCs in Mumbai. We've got some DCs in Delhi. And then we're saying that when they replicate with each other, we want to have a control over the replication. And that is why we defined a Mumbai site. We defined a Delhi site and we uh, created the links between both the sites. This is known as a physical topology. This is something that you can see. That is what you can see. A Delhi site is what you can see and you can actually define it. You know? So this is known as a physical topology. And the next one, is known as a logical topology. Now let's understand the logical topology. Right. The logical topology goes like this. Now, uh, we created a root domain. Let's say we created a root domain by the name of test.com, which is my, let's say the first domain. And we have just been working with this domain. But in future, what we're going to do is under this domain, let's say this domain has got uh, some domain controllers. Okay. This domain has got some of it dc1 dc2 okay and then under this root domain let's say i want to put another child domain i want to put another smaller domain which is known as a child domain and i will call this branch dot test dot com i don't know if you have something like this do you all have something like this do you have a root Not domain sure. child domain scenario i haven't seen it to be honest okay okay that's that's fine that's not a problem you know many organizations have a root domain and a child domain right in fact many organizations you know they create an empty root you know the root domain will be empty nothing and you know each child domain would be something like a region like america is one region america mm -hmm. is one child domain europe has another child domain asia is another child domain mm -hmm. like that they so might the, the, so the parent domain might not have anything as such in itself anything. apart from yes. uh, child domains yes yes exactly exactly yeah. and you need to be very clear about the concept of what is the difference between a root domain and a child domain? You need to be very clear about that. And this concept really relates to our daily life. Like for example, let's say this top is your parents' house and that is what I'm going to define by the root, All right? And till the age of, you know, uh, 20, 21, we are in the parents' house and then we decide to branch out and then we say, oh, let us get married. Let's have our own house, okay? This is your parents' house and what the day, the day that, that you plan to get married and that's when you say that I want to start my own family right so this becomes this becomes your family that you start and you branch out from your parents right now when you were in a parent's house there's total control over what what you could do they had complete control over you but the moment you started your own family out here downwards here right that control goes away isn't it you are no longer under their direct control no doubt there are certain things you listen and don't listen but then you become partially independent Yep. So this is that partial independence that we're talking about over here, right? Now you need to understand the root domain will have its own user account database. So that means in the root domain, if I have 1000 users, that does not mean that I will see the same 1000 users over here. The child domain can have its own user account database that might contain, let's say just hundred users. Hmm. The users that are created over here will not get replicated here. Please understand that if I create, let us say user X, Y, Z over here, that same user will not be replicated over here. Understand that? Meaning if you create an X, Y, Z user over here, it will be replicated from DC1 to DC2. That's It will not come downwards. It will not come to the child domain because the child domain will have its own database. It will have its own active directory database. Okay. Being a part of the root, there'll be certain things that'll be shared. Being a part of the root, there are certain things that you share with your parents. We usually share our last names. Okay, mm -hmm. so we know that if the, like for example, here it's the same thing, test.com, and there's the last name, and then you have branch, which is which is a unique name, right? Not only the names, there are certain things that are shared between the root and the child. We're going to discuss that a little later on. Okay, so now uh, please understand one thing: any group policy that you apply over here will not apply over here because the child domain will have its own, own group set policy. of policies. Yeah, own set of policies. Yes. You know, you might have noticed, you know, noticed every domain has got something known as a default uh, domain policy. Okay, so same way here also, there will be a separate default domain policy. Okay, 
So uh, policies that are applied over here will not replicate over here. Yeah. Yeah, but while we come to think about enforcing, even at the very beginning, we had seen some yeah. group policies which we had enforced. So if that is the case, yeah. then probably some no, policies. No, no. Even the enforcing part will not work. No, no. Even the enforcing part will not work. You cannot That's enforce because... policies from the root to the child. Okay, because the domain is totally different. Yeah, because the domain is totally different. Uh, right now, what you need to know is this structure that I've built is known as a domain. Tree. This whole structure okay. is known as a domain tree. So you have a root domain, you have a child domain, and then you could have more child domains underneath. You could have Chennai dot branch dot test dot com. 